You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Uh, today I have a, a good friend who needs no introduction, Steve Bernard, former uh, president of the NAACP, and someone who was very involved in the community of Brockton for years and years and years, oh, and you. who's helping for the third year in a row, third year in a row, to promote awareness about prostate cancer and helping the NAACP and uh, some partners put together a great community event. That's right, uh, Mark. For, for the last three years, we've been working with Admitech Foundation and now Good Samaritan Medical Center to help uh, uh, close the, the disparity gap in, in health relative to the uh, prostate cancer crisis in Plymouth County in, in Brockton, particularly among black men, because uh, black men are three, three, three and a half times uh, a greater chance of uh, having prostate cancer. Uh, than uh, than the white uh, white counterpart, so uh, our our mission I I is to get the word out and promote early early screening. So we we have to be vigilant and and uh, to sustain this effort uh, by having annual annual uh, conferences uh, or community meetings. Uh, and you're doing an event. The date of the event is Saturday, February seventeenth. It's an evening event, so it's going to be easy for people to go to it that work during the week, yes. rush home from work, mm -hmm. don't want any of that. It's Saturday night, and it's over at Fred Fontaine's perfect place. Absolutely. And we're encouraging not only men to come out, but women and, and family members. Because uh, as we both know, uh, w when a family is struck with a, with a malady or, or, or a serious disease, it's a family issue. Uh, when, the, when, the man, when the man of the house uh, has prostate cancer, uh, the caregiver, the wife, uh, the, the, uh, the daughter, the, the son, mm -hmm. uh, is involved in, in his treatment. And of course, the loving care. So it's important uh, that you, we get out together and share the opportunity to hear cutting edge uh, news uh, about advances uh, in medical technology uh, to eradicate the uh, disease. Well, if you think about it, usually women are the ones that get the men to go to the doctors. Absolutely. Okay? I have a female nurse practitioner who mm -hmm. I actually think is better than the doctor because she's more in tune. Mm -hmm. She will give me a warning. Uh, I was a little overdue for a doctor's appointment, and mm -hmm. I got the, can I see your ID? Are you part of the witness protection program? Because my wife <laughs> went back to work. My wife used to get me to go to the doctor more often. Absolutely. And the yeah. prostate thing is, is scary. Most people avoid physicals a lot of the time because mm -hmm. they don't even want the the, the less invasive test. No, right. We're not talking a colonoscopy, but the, mm -hmm. the good old finger test That's right. and mm -hmm. kick it down the road. I can tell you I'm one of those people. And I, you know, but I know people that have been affected by this. I know people that are prostate cancer survivors. Mm -hmm. um, I know I have a, 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 someone I serve on the board with at the library whose uh, husband is pretty sick right now with prostate mm -hmm. cancer and sometimes you wait too long and it's too late. That's right. The, uh, the risk involved in prostate cancer is, is omnipresent. Uh, the risks are any man uh, over, over 40 years old, mm -hmm. uh, any, any black man with the African, Amer African heritage or Hispanic uh, her heritage or any man who has a history of prostate cancer in the family is at risk. So it, it, yes, there is a disparity in health where, where uh, black men are, are more likely uh, to uh, get uh, prostate uh, cancer. Uh, it's an omnipresent problem among all men. And we encourage all men to, and all families to, to uh, attend our event if, if they can. Uh, yes, I know many people and, uh, uh, and have many friends who have uh, had prostate cancer. Uh, some have survived and some have, have not, but the ones that have had early detection are doing just fine. Uh, and this is what we're, we're encouraging. Now I notice that you have great political support from Mayor Carpenter, Representative Claire Cronin, Representative Jerry Cassidy. Um, I was at one of the other events, it might have been last year or the year before, it was over at the VFW. Mm -hmm. We did an evening event over there. They were supportive. I've already seen it posted on Jerry Cassidy's Facebook, I think. Okay. Our representative, our state representatives have done a marvelous job in supporting the efforts on a statewide uh, basis to provide funding uh, through the Department of Health uh, for uh, prostate cancer uh, research. 
and Claire Cronin, uh, Jerry Cassidy, uh, and Michelle Dubois, uh, along with Mike, Michael Brady, Senator Michael Brady, have done a marvelous job. And I believe that uh, most of them will be there, along with the, along with the mayor and, and, and other possible uh, celebrities and uh, community, community leaders, including our own Phyllis Ellis, who's, our, who's uh, the uh, new president uh, of the NAACP. And uh, thank you, Phyllis. She's doing a marvelous job of leading the organization to the next, to the next level. And I'm so grateful that she supports this effort and is putting you know, all, all of her energy behind making it a success. I'm looking at the list. It says Coach Willie May, who is the in-arena in, in host for the Celtics. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And, of course, Dr. Fena Stern, who is ADME. She's the CEO of the ADME Tech Foundation. Founder, founder and CEO of the ADME Tech Foundation. And ADME Tech Foundation, which is based in Boston, uh, established the Manogram Project, mm -hmm. and they provide international leadership in groundbreaking programs in research, education, and awareness to expedite advancement of screening, early detection, and treatment for prostate cancer. And I think you, you've had the opportunity of speaking with her or interviewing I her. I have. In, I've in interviewed her here and over at the uh, over at the event. Mm -hmm. The at it's ADME A D M E. Tech, T E C H dot org, which is their website. So if you want to find out more about that organization and how it ties in to this, um, it's all there on the website. I know it is. Mm -hmm. And um, so when I looked at your when I looked at your your flyer, Steve, that I got on the email when you contacted me about this, um, there's going to be educational sessions with leaders of the community. Mm -hmm. um, the goals that are listed, pretty straightforward. Um, do you want to go over yes, them? Uh, to end prostate cancer uh, crisis in Brockton, including health care disparities. Uh, there will be breakout sessions mm -hmm. with uh, uh, doctors who are presenting. And uh, I, I can tell you that these are very valuable sessions because you can uh, now take what you've heard during, during the presentation part of the, uh, part of the uh, event uh, and speak in, in a private room or private setting with the uh, uh, doctor about your personal situation. Mm -hmm. And he will give you or advise you wh uh, where to go and to get the necessary information uh, to help you empower yourself to make the proper decisions. Empowerment is very, very important. And empower yourself to make the proper decisions and learn to, learn to uh, communicate with your doctors about your personal health. Which is right down the bottom to empower fully informed and shared decisions on health care options. Mm -hmm. You talked about cutting edge knowledge already because that's what the foundation does. They give me the one minute sign so I'm, mm -hmm. I'm rushing. But basically the biggest goal in here is to save lives. Absolutely. So Save lives. And we say save our brothers' lives. But I contend that we're all brothers. We're all brothers and sisters, and the family is important in coming out to this event to give support to, to our brothers who are at risk of prostate cancer. Early detection is the key, and we want to provide information that will empower the family to make the right decision. Sounds great. Thanks for doing what you're doing, Steve, and uh, we'll look forward. We're glad to help you promote it, and we're hoping to be there to get some of the clips to go along with thank it. Thank you so much for having me, Mark. Feel better, okay? Okay, thank you. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Linder, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.